Now let us write the Maclaurin polynomial of the sine function. That is, uh, you know, a polynomial centered at c equals zero, and uh, by and we just define this polynomial to be given by this equation, and uh, so the function is sine x. And if you look at the successive derivatives of sine then they're just sine x, then first derivative is cosine x, and then further it's negative sine x, and it just goes on like that. And then if we evaluate these, uh, the value of the function and its uh, successive derivatives at zero, f zero is zero, the first derivative is cosine zero equals one, and the rest by substitution are getting what? First of all, it's, uh, you know, every alternative term, alternative term is zero, and then the signs will alternate as a positive one and a negative one. And so when we substitute all these values, then what do we get for the McLaurin's polynomial? Uh, we, we just get F zero and, uh, you know, I just rewrote uh, this equation here, and when we substitute all the quantities, what are we going to get? Uh, we are going to get, you know, F0 is zero, this is one, and uh, the second derivative at uh, zero is zero, and then I'm just extending it in this manner, even though here it's just absorbed in these uh, dots, stating that it progresses like this, and uh, if we go ahead, let's make create more area in our slate. Okay, uh, erase this here. And so what we shall find is uh, this, that the Maclaurin's polynomial, and here I, or Maclaurin's polynomials up to, yeah, here I wrote them up to degree 11, are going to be like these. All the even number powers are powers are missing, or they are they are absent because the values of the derivative at zero had become zero there, and we get you know these as polynomial representations of degrees one, three, five up to eleven. So let's look at this also in a graphical manner. So here we have a graph of sine x, and if we go ahead and add the uh, Maclaurin's polynomials of uh, the various degrees that we have here, so this is for degree one, we have a linear approximation this far, and then for uh, the degree three, because there is uh, nothing of degree two here, okay? So we have a good approximation this far, okay? And uh, then uh, let's uh, go to the degree five, okay? And uh, actually, yes, here. So here we have, and I'll, I'm going to color code the other ones. So this is a polynomial of degree five, and uh, let's write one of degree seven, okay? So for degree seven, let's make that red. And uh, here is that of degree seven, okay? And uh, so, you know, th that's how they progress. Let's write our last one, that is degree 11, and see how far does that get us. So let's make that blue. So yeah, this has gotten us, you know, really far up to what, you know, we cross two pi, and here we are closer to three pi, right? Okay, so as we increase the the degrees of the polynomials there, yes, yeah, very fast approximating the graph of sine. So now you saw that this blue polynomial is a polynomial of degree 11. So let's just observe that what difference would we get, say, if we took Taylor's polynomial at 3 pi over 2, okay, for approximation near 3 pi over 2. 
So let's try uh, to get a Taylor polynomial of uh, degree, say, 2, or let's just compute and see what degree would we like it to be. So Taylor polynomial at 3 pi over 2 would be given by this expression. And if we did this, that if we looked at the behavior of sine or the values or the appropriate values, then uh, I have calculated the values already. So the values will look like, I'm sorry, okay, here. So here, fx is sine x, and if you write it at 3 pi over 2, it would be negative 1, and then uh, the first derivative is cosine, which will become zero. The second derivative is negative sine, and negative of uh, sine 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. That will become positive 1. So now what happens is that the odd number terms, they disappear in this manner, and this will go on. So if we would like to write our Taylor polynomial, say of degree 5, what shall we get? So actually, uh, not of degree 5, degree 4. In fact, the coefficient of x to the power 5 will be 0 here. And I already expanded factorial 4 as 24. So this is the polynomial of uh, degree 4 at 3 pi over 2. Uh, for sine x and this is the poly and this portion is uh, like here this is a parabolic approximation a polynomial of degree 2 at 3 pi over 2 so let's see that how fast this approximates the graph at uh, 3 pi over 2 so now th these are our earlier approximations with the Maclaurin series now let's go ahead and insert uh, Taylor polynomial of degree 2 at 3 pi over 2. Uh, let me change the color to say magenta. Okay, so here you can see just a parabola or degree 2 is approximating the graph pretty well near 3 pi over 2.